I've always been kind of curious about how food turns into feces. When you scoop up a spoonful of food and prepare to eat it, first the food mixes with your saliva and breaks down into pieces through chewing. Once you begin the act of swallowing, muscles in the esophagus automatically push the food into the stomach. Once the food reaches the stomach, enzymes and acids are produced here and the stomach muscles break down the food by mixing it well with digestive juices. The stomach then slowly empties this mixed semi-fluid into the small intestine, also known as the duodenum. The pancreas then breaks down the carbohydrates and fats in the food and transports them through a duct to the duodenum. The liver produces a digestive fluid called bile, which helps digest some vitamins and fats and stores them in the gallbladder. When you eat, the gallbladder presses bile through the bile duct into the duodenum, as shown in the picture. The small intestine then peristalsizes the food and mixes it with digestive juices, pushing this part of the food for further digestion. And the body's most important water and essential nutrients enter the bloodstream through the villus projections in the small intestine. As digestion continues waste products are produced and they pass through the small intestine into the large intestine. This process continues to absorb some water, and some bacteria in the large intestine help to break down the remaining nutrients, and then this waste liquid turns into feces, and it is from this rectum that the stool is expelled. Note that anal knowledge is important here. There is a sphincter muscle near the anus, which is very important in controlling feces, it knows whether it is liquid or gas or feces that you are going to discharge next, and it is especially beneficial when you have diarrhea.